Alrighty, so first things first, you're gonna have to ignore me looking like a freaking angel and uh, you're gonna have to ignore the giant mess behind me because I am not done cleaning my room again. Okay, so let's start this video. So, um, I was asking, well, on my, I was on my Tumblr and I saw this picture going around of how you could take like a jar and then for the new, since it's the new year, um, you can take a jar and then just fill it up with like little memories that really make you smile and things that have happened that make you happy and then at the end of the year, uh, you can take that jar, open it up and just take out all your little memories and stuff like that. So, um, obviously I, I got the idea to do that. So, um, I got myself a jar and okay, at first I was going to go to the dollar store because I was hoping that they would have mason jars there. So I asked my dad, like, hey dad, do you know they sell them over there? And he's like, hold up, look down there. And so we go into the kitchen, we go into like this dank place when we never open. He's like, oh, here's a box, of, a box, not boxes. Here's a box with like 11 jars. I'm like, okay, dad, I don't even want to ask, but thank you. And then I saw like, hmm, he has 11 jars. I could probably use like a good ten. So I got an idea. So, okay, this is what my jars look like. They are mason jars, um, wide mouth ball. I think they're collecting something in there. I gotta disinfect them and clean them first. So, um, I have a few. One of them is obviously gonna be my, uh, my jar to keep memories and stuff like that that have happened in 2011, 2013, damn, 2011, 2013 that have made me smile. Ew, that smells nasty. So, I'm gonna start, like, if something happens, I'm just gonna get a little piece of paper. It doesn't even. I'm trying to make it that each piece of paper is different, so that way that each one holds like its own like special like little you know little place you know. So um, something happened yesterday. I forgot to write it down, but I'm definitely gonna write it down like as soon as I can. And uh, I'll just throw it in there. And the cool thing about this lid that I can actually like write on it, so or label it, and then the top actually I don't even have to keep this it just comes off so I'm like cool so I could just like you know remove it and then just keep it open like that and then I started thinking like why the heck why can't I use this for other stuff so uh, uh, naturally I decided to use these as candle holders because I have a bunch of candles that I don't use and so I'm trying to think of different ways to use the mason jar so one way would be to store it for your collection of memories and stuff like that um, the second one would be <laughs> the second one would be to um, use it as a candle holder look because I have these really big candles and ew, don't look at it. and I have these big candles like this so I can actually just take the top off pop it off um and well okay this one barely fits it's gonna be a little bit too tight um let's see okay okay so see like i have like this and this is gonna be definitely too big yep um they have this one this little tiny one like, it's not tiny but it's pretty big so i could just you know pop it in here oh crap it's not gonna, oh and then I just let it, you know, kind of chill in there. And it looks really pretty. I just turn it on. Like, I would obviously take off the wrapping that it has on it right now. But, take that off. And then, obviously, you're not going to put the lid on it. Because that's... No. So, I would take off this part and just leave it open. And then it looks really pretty. And then you be like, oh, look, it's, it's a candle in a jar. It looks so nice. And then you can actually like decorate it. You can take sharpies and stuff like that. I look so bad right now. I'm sorry. Um, you can actually take like some sharpies. Um, you know, write on it whatever you want. Decorate it, draw on it, whatever. And so I actually absolutely love these jars. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of fun activities with these jars. Well, something else that you can do is that I've been seeing. If you have smaller ones, you can actually use them as cups. Like when if you wanna be like hipster, quirky, you know, kind of person, um, you can use them as jars or like as juice like I've seen people like drink baba I think that's called boba 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 tea baba don't quote me on that I don't know how to say it um boba tea whatever um they drink from it a cute little straw it, especially during the summer it would be like really refreshing and like I don't know like it would probably be really really cute uh to use it as a cup I haven't used this yet because obviously it's huge and um I do not want to use this as a cup because it's way too big so um yeah there's a little video on like how to use three ways on how to use a ma mason jar I would say a mason jar ah <sighs> I'm dyslexic sometimes so yeah I mean they're made of glass they look really nice and so 
that's some things that you could do this year like you know put memories in a jar and then just take them out the next year so you can have fun um so this is like a little video i haven't done videos lately well i've been making videos i'm just too lazy to edit them so this one i'm not even gonna edit it i don't even care if i mess up in it i'm just gonna do whatever i can and yeah so i'm sorry for making this so long i need to stop blabbing on so um like i said three things you can use it as a collector of memories. Put little papers in there. Bam. That's it. Uh, collect your memories. Use it as a candle holder. You know, cute little candles in there. Bam. Throw that in there. Uh, and then you can also use it as a, a cup if you want. Okay. So, cool. Alrighty. I'll stop talking now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Bye.